Hey, it's Max and we're back again. Um, I didn't expect to be doing another video today. I honestly didn't. Uh, but it came to my attention that Peter Ruckman's child is a child murderer. And, you know, I have to do a video, otherwise I will not be able to get this out of my head. And this is old news, and I'm surprised I did not hear about it. Nobody posted anything on my channel about it, so sorry. It's like 10 days old. What we're going to do is read a couple of articles, and I'm going to say a few things. Police say a nationally renowned political science professor, professor allegedly killed his two sons before taking his own life inside their suburban Illinois home. According to officials in Winnebago County, police were called to the home of Peter S. Ruckman Jr., commonly known as P.S. Ruckman, at around 7 a.m. Saturday to perform a welfare check. What's going on in the house that you have to do welfare checks on people? There, they found 58-year-old Ruckman and his sons, Christopher, 14, and 12-year-old John, shot dead. Okay? This is key here. Peter Ruckman, the great grand poobah of everything out there about KJV onlyism and everything else. His child that he loved so much, he gave him his name. And I actually think that that's kind of like <laughs> kind of a selfish thing to do, but whatever. Gave him his name is a child murderer. You, Peter Ruckman Jr. just killed Peter Ruckman Sr. in his entire ministry. Was the man possessed with devils? Obviously. Obviously. But you have to wonder, what is going on in a household that is a King James Bible-believing Christian household that a guy grows up and not just like a teenager who's angsty and their emotions are going out all over the place. A guy who's darn near 60 years old. What possesses that person to kill their children? Now, I, I grew up with like no religion in my house. And I am certain nobody in my family is killing their children. We'll keep going with the article. According to the Rock, Rockford Register Star, the bodies were found in separate bedrooms. Ruckman, well, see, here's another thing is this is even worse because it's premeditated in that I'm going to go in and I'm going to go kill my son in his sleep. And then I'm going to, when the other kid wakes up, then I'm going to go in there and go shoot him. This is the direct spawn named after Peter Ruckman. Is Peter Ruckman a uh, Ken Hovind? I have to wonder. And I'll also say that Satan attacks good ministries. Okay. And this guy was a college professor. He probably didn't care about Christianity and probably did his own thing. And he is probably easy to kind of influence or even possess because he wasn't saved. And I guess Satan did a good job there because he wrecked Ruckman's ministry completely. It's gone now. You don't have one. All of those books you wrote, all of that content that you put out there, um, of course, you're already kind of a jerk because you don't put anything out for free. You have to pay for everything. There's nothing out there on YouTube with Ruckman. you just completely destroyed everything. Because if you can't even raise your children not to be murderers, who the heck is going to listen to you? Who? And understand now, people get depressed, and apparently you went through a divorce and all this stuff. People get depressed. Yeah, go off into a parking lot somewhere and go off yourself. But why, why 
Why kill your children? <sighs> Ruckman was an expert in the area of presidential pardons who wrote two books on the subject. Well, no one's ever going to read those. The Adventures of a Murderer. Uh, okay. For 20 years, Ruckman was pol political... 20 years! Political science professor at Rock Valley College in Illinois. See, there's a guy who went to college and has a couple of degrees and had a regular job, perfectly normal, who all of a sudden decides to go off and go kill his kids and then off himself. Who was named after one of the greatest heralded KJV only pastors out there. Hmm. The Rock Valley College community is devastated by the news of the tragic deaths of Peter. Well, no. Dude, you should have just killed yourself. You kill your kids. Tragic. It's not tragic that you died, dude. It's not tragic. You're sad. Go take your pistol. Go off yourself. If that's what you want to do. But why? Why? You killing your kids? Oh, our deepest sympathies go out to the family, friends, colleagues, Professor Ruckman and his children in difficult news. Okay. All right. And this is his ex wife, who looks about 25 years younger than him. Um, pray for her because this idiot, jerk, I'm, I want to use stronger language. I want to do it. Killed her kids. That's what he did. And I think it was a selfish act of making her feel bad. Because that's the only reason that you can think of. Just a selfish, selfish, selfish man. Ruckman taught an online course at Northern Illinois University in nearby DeKalb last year. Police say there is no documented history of domestic violence. There's nothing. The guy was a normal guy. All of a sudden flew off the rails? Really? The Ruckman family and that officer, uh, Ruckman family and that officer had never been called to their address. Court records show that Ruckman's ex-wife, defense attorney Heidi Ruckman, filed for divorce last July, marriage, whatever, but his marriage. Police say Heidi Ruckman called the police after she hadn't heard from her ex-husband and that it was her weekend with the boys. Christopher was a guitar prodigy, and this is what they're doing, the 12 and 14-year-old boys. Okay, the deaths are second, are the second double murder, and now we're talking about something else. Um, the Ruckman's autopsies are scheduled for uh, March 5th, although police have confirmed that each victim was shot. Details of their wounds and the type of firearm involved have not been released. It's not important. What's important is that they're dead. And a guy named... Peter Sturgis Ruckman Jr. was the murderer. P.S. Ruckman earned a Ph.D. <laughs> Political Science and Government from Ferris State University in 1991. He also earned a Master's and two Bachelor's degrees from Florida. This is what happens, man. When you go off into all these university things, you pretty much become an atheist. And how a child of Peter Ruckman becomes a murderer and not just a murderer the guy murders his own children what is going on in Peter Ruckman Sr.'s household what has been going on that whole time is the guy just a scam or is it because Peter Ruckman Jr. was not saved. The devil just came in and possessed him and, and made him do some stuff to, to crap all over uh, Peter Ruckman ministry. Because at this point, Peter Ruckman's ministry is dead. I'll never watch anything. Why am I going to watch a guy where your son murders his children? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And here's another article. Um, 
I, I think I pretty much said what I needed to say. And I, uh, you know, I have some bad people that are in my family. And I guarantee you that none of them are going to kill their kids. Right? And these are people, nobody has anything to do with religion. Nobody in my family actually subscribes to my channel. None of them. They don't care. Well, unless you count my wife. But other than that, nobody cares. And they're not killing their kids. They're not killing their kids. And this man was the favored son who actually holds the name of Peter Sturgis Ruckman. I guess you did a, a good job, Satan. And now I'm going to bring up one more article. And I'm getting, I'm going to guess this guy is regretting it. Carl Keating, March 8th, <laughs> 2013. You can see it's the same guy. Under the Constitution, a president has full authority to issue pardons to those convicted of uh, federal crimes. You might guess particularly liberal presidents would issue particularly many pardons, but that doesn't seem to be the case. At least it's not the case with Barack Obama, who a modern president has been the most uh, parsimonious in granting clemency. Last week, he pardoned 17 people, all for nine nonviolent offenses. He previously had granted 22 pardons. The next most stingy president was George W. Bush. So we're talking about pardons. See, he's a constitutional lawyer who, who talks about all this stuff. Um, what interests me here isn't what presidents have or haven't done in respect to the pardoning power. What interests me is that Professor Ruckman, it turns out he's the son of Peter S. Ruckman, a remarkably acerbic fundamentalist I debated in 1987. The elder Ruckman is noted not only for a lack of gentlemanli gentlemanliness in his public talks about, about, but for the theory that King James Bible version is quasi-inspired. See, they're already, they're just crapping on the Bible. This is this person's point of view. It's like, well, his son's a professor. He's obviously much more smart much more smart than his father. In his view, any deviation from that translation is erroneous. Only in the KJV can one find the authentic Bible. As you might suspect, his theory has no traction with Protestants whose native language is German or French, for example. Um, I don't know what that has to do with anything. I mean, I'm sure that the KJV is translated into their language too. At the Wikipedia article about my debate opponent, a footnote refers to his namesake son and says that at his website he provides biographies of his grandfather and great-grandfather, but comparatively little information about his father except for a photograph of a rakish young man. I haven't been able to find that information at P.S. Ruckman's website. Perhaps the material has been removed. However, that may be, I wonder how he gets along with his eccentric father. The younger man seems to be just a normal college professor. YouTube has television interviews with him. I suspect his theological views, if he has any at all, are quite different from his father's. Well, you know, I'd hope so. You know, murdering your kids is pretty bad. I, I, I would hope so. Oh, he hopes so too. He hopes so too. So, hey, Carl, Carl... Um, are you going to, are you going to drop this article and take it off? Or are you going to write a new article about how you're trumping up the sun? Huh? Huh? You're going to, you're going to trump up, um, Ruckman Jr. now because he's a professor and he's got like eight degrees or something. Look at what the guy did. Look at what the guy did. Look at what a piece of crap he is. And I'm sure you, you might even like him more. Because he destroyed his father's ministry. Completely destroyed it. Congratulations. Congratulations, you coward. You murdering coward. Congratulations. What are your rewards in heaven going to be? Oh, you're probably going to hell. 
And that makes me happy. It makes me happy to see people like this go to hell, murdering their children. Absolutely ridiculous. With that, I'm out of here.